In the Lashley Three Maze, mice learn to navigate through a series of arms to reach a pseudo-home cage environment on repeated trials. At the start of the trial, mice are placed in the start box, which is separated from the maze by a door. Once the door is opened, mice enter the maze arms and are allowed to freely explore. The path the mouse takes through the maze is recorded, including entries into dead-end cul-de-sac error zones. Upon entry into the goal box, Another door is closed to prevent maze re-entry and directing the mouse to enter the pseudo-home cage, concluding the maze trial. Maze performance is compared across age groups or strains to evaluate the role in learning and memory. Hi, I'm Amanda Bressler. I work in the Ann Andrews Laboratory here at Pennsylvania State University. I'm going to show you today how to use the Lashley 3 maze. We use this maze primarily in our lab to study aging genetically modified mice. So, here we go. First, let's see what the Lashley 3 maze looks like. The start box, maze arms, and goal box are modular to allow for cleaning and modifiability of the maze. The walls of the start box, maze arms, and goal box are all constructed of black plexiglass to eliminate visual cues from outside and within the maze. Maze arms are 45 centimeters long, 7 centimeters high, and 5 centimeters wide. Doors leading to consecutive arms of the maze are 4 centimeters by 4 centimeters and are situated 11 centimeters from the outer walls of the maze. The goal box is 19.5 centimeters long, by 7 centimeters high, by 5 centimeters wide. The start box is 8 centimeters by 9.5 centimeters by 7 centimeters. Separate clear